Hey guys, welcome back to another Minecraft Cold War vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and building the Typhoon 2. Uh, and the crew amount is not available, no information for it. Dimensions are also not available. Uh, this tank has a uh, very low information on it from what I was able to find. Uh, its role, however, was a tank destroyer, and the other build was just a prototype. Uh, this uh, vehicle never entered service. It was armed with a 120mm L-44 gun, and armor is not available. Engine, you can see right here, Detroit Diesel, 465 horsepower. Uh, performance has a max speed of 70 kilometers per hour, and that's going to pretty much do it for this, and enjoy the tutorial. Hello ladies and gentlemen, scared 2 by 4 here, bringing you another Minecraft Cold War vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be going ahead and building the Swiss Typhoon uh, 2. Uh, this uh, vehicle is a tank destroyer that was uh, built upon the chassis of the Typhoon uh, Mark 1. The vehicle was developed during the late 1970s, but received no orders and was withdrawn from uh, combat or basically any you know kind of concepts in early in the early 1980s. Its removal from the prospective uh, market prompted the vehicle's manufacturer to turn to develop a more uh, wheeled vehicle. So, this vehicle itself pretty much was a vehicle that was kind of a idea concept vehicle that didn't really go anywhere. Um, and you know, it's pretty much only made an appearance really in the game Armored Warfare. Uh, which is a game I don't really play, don't know much about, uh, but it, this is where I was only able to find this information. There's no Wikipedia page or anything for it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a look at it like we always do, and we'll go ahead and, of course, move into our layers and all that stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and, you know, get started just in taking a look at it. So uh, what we want to do to start off with is we want to go ahead and take a look at, um, you know, pretty much all the detail and what we have going on for this. Anyways, guys, uh, going to take a look at this vehicle. So, starting off, we have uh, the main gun right here, which I forget the exact size of it um, exactly, but it's you know good sized gun. It's a tank destroyer. It's meant to obviously destroy tanks, punch through armor, so it's going to be a pretty good large sized gun. Uh, lots of detail up in the front here. Uh, the mantle kind of reminds me of uh, kind of like a Doom Turtle kind of mantle or uh, something of that kind of sort, sort. Your standard tank destroyer, like a Hetzer, uh, very low profile and uh, a whole lot to uh, basically main gun, which means that it has to traverse its tracks either direction to actually be able to fire, um, if uh, that makes any sense. You have the optics, all that kind of stuff here, um, you know, the hatches, all that crazy stuff, lights, everything, uh, all the detail for the front there. On the siding, we have uh, these little baskets, um, obviously for putting gear in or something, and you have, of course, uh, these big storage compartments on the side here, and it's the same thing over here on this side. Uh, on the back here, just some detail, the brake lights, venting, and, uh, you know, some tools and stuff like that on the back. And, of course, we have our top venting hatches here for, obviously, a gunner position and also a, um, you know, hatch there and all that stuff. So, anyways, uh, that's pretty much the build overall. It's uh, very simplistic and, you know, pretty nice looking and everything like that. Uh, just a quick fun thing about this video is that this is currently be being live streamed, uh, this uh, recording of it as part of a first ever time actually recording and building a whole vehicle and showing the, the uh, process of going into uh, tutorials and all that stuff uh, through a live stream. So first time ever to first um, and the chat is here um, basically you know laughing the whole time. So anyways uh, that's pretty much it for this. Let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by starting off with our first layer, layer 1. Alright guys, so moving on to our first layer, we go ahead and start off with layer 1. Now for layer 1, what we want to do to get started is we're going to go ahead and take nether brick slabs and place down 1 and 2 slabs across like that. After we have that done, coming off those two sl half slabs, we're going to place down two top slabs of nether brick. Once that's done, we're then going to place down a row of two of green hardened stained clay. Uh, we're going to place down a stone button over here on the left side of the green stained clay block because this is going to be the um, you know left side of the tank. We're going to start off with the left side of the tracks here, have our center space, and then the right side over on this side. Um, anyways, continuing on, we then want to go ahead and take uh, some dark oak wood stairs. We're going to place down one and two, like this, followed by a second row of two of stairs right behind it. We're then going to place down another row of two of green hardened stained clay, followed by a stone button over to the left side of this block. Uh, with that finished, we're then going to place down a second row, of, or basically another kind of section here of these dark oak wood stairs back to back. So a narrow row of two here, and then a narrow row of two dark oak wood stairs right behind them. We then want to place down a row of two of green hardened stained clay, stone button on the left side here. After that, we're going to place down a row of two of dark oak wood stairs and a row of two right behind those stairs, like so. With that finished, we're then going to place down a row of two of nether brick half slabs, followed by a row of two of nether brick top slabs. Once that's all finished, uh, we want to go ahead and start off by going to our front here. We're going to go ahead and go to these two um, nether brick half slabs in our tank. Direction is going to be the front up here, so it's going to be facing that way. 
Same thing as we have for this model right here. Uh, going off this half slab here, we're going to place down a row of three of dark oak with top slabs. We then want to go ahead and go to the back here. We're going to go to these two narrow brick half slabs here. We're going to place down a row of three uh, coming off those uh, two narrow brick half slabs as well. Uh, once we have uh, that finished, we're going to go ahead and copy the same design we did for the tracks over here on the right side as we did on the left side. So very simple. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and copy the same thing. If I go a little fast here, I'll just look back over to the other side. But everything should line up and it should be the same on both sides. Um, luckily, the first kind of few layers here for this build are all symmetrical. So it's going to be really easy um, to, you know, go ahead and you know copy over and all that stuff. Again, just stone buns here on the uh, blocks like that. And then we're just going to go ahead and take... Dark oak fence gates, place down one and two in the front there, and also one and two on the back, like so. Uh, with that finished, the last thing we're going to do for this layer is we're just going to take dark oak with top slabs and fill in the bottom one here, just like this, and same thing right here, and just like that, we're going to fill in the bottom of the tank, just like that. Anyways, once you guys have that done, that's going to do it for layer one, and with that, we're going to go ahead and move on to layer two. Alright guys, so moving on to layer 2. For layer 2, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by taking green heart and stink clay. We're going to place down a row of 2 on top of these narrow brick top slabs. Go over to the side over here, we're going to place down a narrow row of 2 of green heart and stink clay on top of those two narrow brick top slabs as well. With that finished, we're going to go ahead and take signs and wrap it around the side here, on the on the uh, basically the side here of the blocks, um, and then also on the front of the blocks, like so. Same thing over here on this side, just like that, all the way around. With that finished, uh, we then want to go ahead and take our dark oak with stairs. We're going to place down a dark oak with stair like this on both sides with the fronts facing toward the middle. And then a dark oak with slab in between the stairs like that. We're then going to place down an item frame on both those stairs. And then we're going to place down a sign that goes over the item frames um, just like that. If I can actually do it. There we go. Uh, with that finished, uh, we're going to go ahead and continue on. We're going to take our green hardened stain clay. We're going to place down a row of seven that goes all the way across like so. Followed by a sign on both sides. With that finished, we're gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and take dark oak with stairs. We're gonna place down dark oak with upside down stair on both sides, just like this. Uh, we then want to place down a sign here on the side here of the stair, just uh, upside down stair on both sides. We're gonna place down a green hardened stain clay block on both sides. Again, a stone button uh, on both. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and place down a dark oak with upside down stair, come off that green stain clay block. Again, a sign on the side here of the stair. We're going to go ahead and place down an upside down stair, basically copy of what we did right here. So we have an upside down dark oak with stair, green stain clay block, upside down stair. So we can just go ahead and kind of take this and go back like this with it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do it again one more time. Like this, upside down stair, upside down stair facing it. I can actually place it, there we go. And then a green hardened stain clay block. So kind of that alternating pattern along the side here. We're just going to go ahead and copy the same thing over here on this side, uh, just like this. It's pretty simple. And just going to kind of go through it fast if you... Um, you know, need more time or whatever, you can feel free to, you know, poke over on the other side, pause the video, whatever you need to do. Um, then with that done, we're just going to go and take signs and place it along the sides of the stairs now. Going back, we're going to place down stone buttons on all these blocks, just like that. Uh, we then want to go and take green hard and stink clay. We're going to put down a nice row that goes all the way toward the back here, filling in any spaces left uh, from our side paneling here above the tracks. And then uh, we want to go ahead and also go over to this side and practically do the same thing with our design that we were doing on the other side. So uh, just the signs here on the stairs and stone buttons on the green stinkway blocks. Just like that. Um, after we have that all finished, uh, we then want to go and take a stone. Uh, actually, we're not going to take a stone, but we're actually just going to go and do this. We're going to go and take uh, some uh, stone brick slabs. We're going to place down a row of three across the back here, just like that. Uh, we then want to go ahead and place down a row of three of ladders across those uh, stone brick blocks we're gonna place down a stone button on the right on the right side here and if you guys want to add a little bit more detail you can put down an iron frame with a um, iron shovel in it just like this um, rotate it around so you have a nice little iron shovel back there that adds a little bit more of uh, detail anyways uh, once you guys have that all finished that's going to pretty much do it uh, for layer two and with that we can move on to layer three all right guys so move on to layer three for layer 3, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start off by taking a dark oak wood slab. We're going to place down a dark oak wood slab on both sides, uh, like that, on the very uh, edges here. We then want to go ahead and take a zombie head, and next to this slab, going toward the middle here, we're going to place down a zombie head, like that, on uh, both sides. With that finished, we're then going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood stair, which is going to be uh, facing this direction here, uh, like this on both sides. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> scared the crap out of me. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
Anyways, continuing on. Um, so we have our two dark liquid stairs there. We're going to place down a dark liquid uh, slab like that back on the backs of those stairs, just like that. After we have that done, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark liquid stair back on both sides again, like that. We then want to place down a spruce wood plank here, like that on both sides on the backs of the stairs. Um, after we have that complete, we're actually going to, go ahead, going to need to go ahead and place down a row of three of green hardened snake clay right here, just to kind of fill in the space right here. Uh, we then want to place down a green snake clay block there in the center, followed by a dark oak wood upside down stair like this on both sides. Once you have uh, that complete, we're going to go ahead and take dark oak wood top slabs. We're going to place down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and uh, just 11 of uh, darker or darker wood uh, top slabs going toward the front here for the barrel of the gun. We then want to go ahead and go to our third and fourth uh, slabs, and we're going to place down uh, a total of uh, basically two signs here, just like that. After we have uh, that all complete, uh, going ahead and continuing on, we're going to need to take our green hardened stained clay again. We're going to place down a row of five that's going to go across the back here, these blocks like that. We're going to grab ourselves a wooden trap door, place down a wooden trap door like this on both sides here. And then coming off this wooden trap door, we're also going to place down another wooden trap door coming off it as well. With that finished, uh, we want to go ahead and continue on. We're going to place down another wooden trap door that kind of comes off like that. So it's not exactly on this block, but it kind of pops out like that. And going ahead and go over here, we're going to go and do the same thing, just like that. Um, and once you have that all uh, done, we're going to go ahead and continue on along the side here. So in this space right here, we're going to need to place down some green hardened stained clay. Um, like that to kind of fill in the space here. And then we're just going to place down one, two, three, four, and five blocks back from this one trap door here. Same thing right here. One, two, three, four, and five back. Just like that. After we have uh, that done, an optional thing you can add on is a green shulker box to represent some kind of fuel canister in the back here. So uh, we're going to place that down. And we're just going to place down a wooden trap door that comes off the side of it on both sides. Just like that. After we have that done, coming off the, this wooden trap door, we're also going to place down another one, like so. And uh, we're also going to place down a wooden trap door in this section here and have it closed like that to kind of create another little box right here. And over here on this side, we're just going to go and repeat the same thing, just like that. Uh, with that finished, we're going to go next to our uh, shulker box and also this wooden trap door. We're going to place down two, two green hard snake bay blocks to kind of fill in the space there. Along the back here, we're going to place down a dark liquid stair on both sides, like that. Followed by a green heart and stinkly block behind those two stairs, and then a row of three of spruce wood planks. Uh, with that finished, we want to go ahead and then take an item frame. We're going to place it down on those two dark oak wood stairs. We're going to need to go ahead and go over to our item frame, grab some, ourselves some red stained glass, place it down um, in the item frame, followed by a sign that goes ahead and kind of covers up the item frame uh, like that to create the back brake lights. Uh, we can also place down an item frame on top of this one right here with the shovel in it. We're, this time we can put an axe in or a pickaxe, some kind of different tool. Um, we're going to put that down in here just like that um, and then we're just going to place down a stone button on uh, this green snake wood block here and also one on the center um, spruce wood plank like so uh, with that all finished that's going to do it for layer three and uh, with that we're going to go ahead and move on to layer four all right guys moving on to our next layer we have layer four for layer four what we want to do is you want to go ahead and start off by going to this green um, harness snake wood block here and place down a dark oak wood steer on top of it we then want to go ahead and place down a uh, lever here on both sides on top of those upside down stairs. And we're going to have them flicked in so that they look like they connect up to that dark oak wood stair. After we have uh, that all finished, we're going to go ahead and take our green hardened stink clay. We're going to place down one block directly behind this stair, followed by one and two out that go to the left side. Over here on the right side, however, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair like this. And then also one like that. So we create a little space like that. Uh, we then want to go ahead and go to this uh, the side of the stair here. We're going to place down an item frame followed by a black wool block in the item frame like that. Uh, once you have that complete, we're then going to place down a stone button on those two spruce wood planks. And we also want to go ahead and place down a zombie head on top of these two uh, dark oak wood stairs like that on both sides. Going ahead and continuing, we're going to take our dark or sorry green carpet. We're going to place down one and two green carpet like that. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and place down one and two wooden trap doors and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven green carpet on the remaining top slabs. Uh, with that complete, on on the sides here, we're going to place down a green hardened snake clay block on both sides like that. We then want to grab ourselves some green banners. And on the block here and the stair on the right side, we're going to place down green banners. And just to kind of keep some symmetry, we're going to place down green banners on the left side as well. Uh, with that finish, we're going to go ahead and go from this green snake clay block here. We're just going to place down one, two, three, four, and five back. 
Same thing over here. We're just going to go ahead and go back one, two, three, four, and five. Um, like that. So we stop right before this shulker box here. On top of all these green stankway blocks here, we're going to need to grab ourselves some dark liquid slabs. We're going to place down a row of five here of dark liquid slabs across the top here. And uh, same thing over here on this side, just like that. Going ahead and continuing, we're going to go ahead and take a zombie head. And if you chose to include these shulker boxes here, we're just going to place down a zombie head on the shulker boxes like that. Uh, we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some stone brick stairs and some dark oak wood stairs. Uh, starting off on our left side here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair after this green stinkway block. Followed by one and uh, two over. We then want to place down one and two stone brick stairs after. Uh, continuing on on the left side here, we're going to place down two uh, narrow brick stairs that go back like that. Next is narrow brick stair here. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some dark oak wood slabs. We're going to place down one and two over, followed by two stone brick half slabs like that after that's uh, finished we're gonna grab ourselves green carpet place down green carpet on top of these spruce wood planks and then we just want to go ahead and grab ourselves some stone pressure plates and place them down on top like so uh, after we have that all done uh, we're also gonna go and take our green hardened stain clay uh, we're gonna go and go up to the front again we're gonna place down a spruce wood plank right behind this uh, dark liquid stair followed by one and two uh, green stain clay blocks out over to the side and um, that will pretty much do it for that. We also want to place down a row of three of green stink light in between these right here on the back here. Uh, just like that before these stairs. Anyways, once you guys have that all done, that's going to do it for layer uh, four. And with that, we can move on to layer five. All right, guys. So going ahead and moving on to layer five. For layer five, what we're going to do is we're going to go and start off by taking a green carpet. We're going to place it down on top of this dark if it stay like this. Once we have uh, that all finished, we're going to go ahead and go over to this green stink light box. So in this row of three right here, it's that middle one. We're going to place down a... Uh, mossy cobblestone wall on top of it we then want to go ahead and place down a zombie head on either side of this mossy cobblestone wall on the back side here of this mossy cobblestone wall here we're going to place down a spruce wood slab followed by a dark oak wood stay like this on both sides with its back to the zombie head once you have that finished we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves a lever and we're going to place down a lever on top of this spruce wood plank and flick it back like so and then we're just going to place down a green carpet on top of this uh, green stinkway block after we have that done, we're then going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall on both sides like that. We're then going to place down a dark oak wood stair next to this mossy cobblestone wall. Um, and then to the side here, we're just going to place down two more dark oak wood slabs over to the side. On the back of this uh, dark oak wood um, stair, we're going to place down a spruce wood plank, followed by a dark oak wood stair pretty much around it, um, surrounding it like so on the backs. Um, we then want to go ahead and go off of this dark oak wood stair. We're going to place down one and two spruce wood uh, half slabs out to the side go into this dark oak wood stair here this um, space here and place down a dark oak wood slab fall by one two and three out to the side uh, we then want to go ahead and start back here we're going to place down a row of three of dark oak wood slabs followed by a row of two of spruce wood half slabs uh, with that finished we're going to then place down a row of two stone pressure plates on the right side here and then we're just going to go ahead and grab ourselves a redstone repeater and place it down there on the very center once you guys have that all finished, that is going to do it for layer 5. And with that, we'll move on to our last final layers, which are basically going to be layers 6, 7, 8, and 9. We're going to put the machine gun on the top and also the antenna and uh, pretty much finish this build off. So let's go ahead and move on to our last final layers. Moving on to our last final layers here, we have layers uh, 6 through 9. So for these layers, we're going to go ahead and start off by going to these mossy cobblestone walls we placed in the previous layer. We're going to go to place down four iron bars going up like that from each of these mossy cobblestone walls. Uh, so just like this for the radio antenna. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a stone button. We're going to go and place down a stone button on top of this spruce wood uh, plank, just like that. And now it's time to go ahead and put the machine gun on. So on top of this mossy cobblestone wall here, we're going to place down an anvil, followed by a upside down stair coming off the anvil. And then we're going to go ahead and need to grab ourselves some end rods. We're going to place down one and two end rods coming off the nether brick upside down stair. On the right side here of this anvil, we're going to place down a um, sign just like that. And on the back of the anvil, going toward the rear of the tank we're going to place down a dark oak wood fence gate opened up like so uh, after that's all finished we're going to go next to this narrow brick uh, up down stair to the left of it we're going to place down a dark oak wood top slab and a green carpet on top of it lastly we just want to go and take a redstone repeater we're going to place down a redstone repeater on top of that upside down narrow brick stair and that's going to pretty much do it for that anyways once you guys have that all complete that's going to pretty much do it for the swiss typhoon 2 tank destroyer hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial if you guys do have used this design i do ask that you guys can be proper credit for it this be anything from a side of the build to link to my channel or this video if this does appear any social media sites 
Just be sure to get proper credit for the build. That's all I ask for doing these tutorials. It helps my channel grow and it continues to keep me inspired to keep on posting these videos. So as long as you guys are, uh, you know, giving me credit for the build, you're free to use it for whatever projects you guys are working on. Other than that, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, thank you to my uh, live stream for chat for being super cool and uh, for hanging around and actually, uh, you know, making this a milestone or kind of like a landmark uh, for the first time ever live streaming a tutorial and um, all that stuff. Pretty fun. So anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. As always, if you like, comment, and subscribe. This is Garrett 2x4, and I'll see you guys next time.